you guys ready for some pickups? Well, since you're here, you guys want to see what I got for the week? I did get some stuff from the thrift stores, and I got some other stuff last week from the thrift stores up in Wet Movie One's neck of the woods. Uh, and I also received a package in the mail from a fellow YouTuber. So let's get to it, shall we? First game that I found out there at the thrift stores was a pretty cool Wii game for $2.99. You wouldn't think it's worth much, but it's actually worth about 10 to 12 bucks. And I believe I've seen this on somebody else's channel. I just can't remember who. Maybe Mega Retro Bros, I think, maybe? I don't know. Probably them. But uh, this game's worth about 10 12 bucks, so I picked it up. AMF Bowling Pin Busters. In your face. Mm -hmm. Got the nice hottie on the back right there. Uh, but I also found a movie while I was inside the very first thrift store where I found that Wii game. And um, saw it was out of print, so I figured, what the heck, I'll pick it up. It's an old 80s uh, Mickey Rourke movie. I don't think I've ever seen this. In fact, I'm pretty sure I've never seen it before. Uh, it's a movie called Wild Orchid. Don't know anything about it, except for the fact that it's rare and out of print. I'm Emily. Come with me. There's something I want to show you. Emily Reed will journey to a far-off exotic land. Your eyes are really... Why not? Two ninety nine. Can't go wrong with that. But I also found a Blu-ray in there that looked pretty ex uh, that looked pretty decent. So I figured, you know, I'd pick this one up. I'm a big fan of Record Howard, you know, from Blade Runner and also The Hitcher. Great movies. Uh, so I saw he was in this. I figured I'd pick it up even though I haven't seen it. And that is Hobo with a shotgun. I'm gonna sleep in your carcasses tonight. Have any of you heard of this movie or seen this movie? Let me know, because um, it looks pretty cool. Looks like a badass movie, so it's complete. It actually has the uh, digital copy. Not sure if it's been used or not, but if it hasn't, uh, I don't know if you can see that or not, but if you can, uh, go ahead and give it a try. If, if it works, leave a comment down below. Let me know. Cool. Um, I never use the code, so looking forward to watching that one. Um, I went to a couple other thrift stores, didn't find shit until I hit the last place. The last store that I went to was the Cerebral Palsy thrift store, and they had two copies. Really weird. Uh, so I picked the cleaner one, of course, because I'm all about the clean copies. I know there's another game. This must be like a part two or something like that. Uh, it's called Hunter the Reckoning Redeemer. three dollars I'll pick that up so it's nice it's clean the the disc actually has a couple scratches on it but they're fairly light it's not that bad so I figured for three bucks I'll give it a chance and uh, it looks like a cool game I'm not sure if it's as good as the first one that's all I actually got this week when I went out and about here locally in San Diego as I said earlier in this video um, I was up hanging out with wet movie one last week and I came across two games at a couple different uh, actually I think I bought these at the same place that's right this one that I found I have it already but um you know if it's worth money and I can make a couple dollars off it and get a game that I want why not, right? So I went ahead and picked up for five bucks Scooby Doo Night of a Hundred Frights. Hello? Is anyone out there? I need some help. Right. Here. It's it's a headless spider. Right. Don't know why it's worth that much, but I've never played it, so I don't know. I have it, but I never played it. Uh, but this one right here, I saw this and I was like, oh yeah. Definitely got a nice score right here uh, for $3.99. I saw this game at the Book Off store about a month ago. In fact, it's still sitting over there for $25 bucks for the PlayStation 2. I found it for the Xbox, and it is a nice, clean copy. Very nice. Uh, and that is the guy game. Somebody had mentioned about how there's an underage chick in this in this game, so that's why they pulled it. I'm not sure if there's nudity, nudity in this game or not, but there is a lot of hot chicks, 
and it's uh you know it's real video in there so i don't know i'm definitely popping this bitch in and checking it out because uh i like to cover i want to play with this it's been a while But, uh, yeah, that's all I got when I was hanging out with Wet Movie 1. But I did receive a package from a fellow YouTuber who goes by The Bearded Diver. I will leave a link for uh, his channel in the description below. Um, he, he, uh, he had a contest uh, a couple weeks ago. Uh, like I said, he's fairly new. He hit 25 subscribers. And I was one of the three winners. And so, you know, obviously he's a diver. And so... One of the dives that he went on, which I just saw the video yesterday, I think, um, he basically threw it all in a box. And, oh, man, he paid way too much money. But I know why he paid too much, because it weighs a lot. Next time you ship, do a flat rate. You'll save yourself a lot of money. So, yeah, he wrote a letter, put a lot of plastic bags in here for stuffing. And, uh... Are these bags from, like, the dumpster, too? I don't know. Subway bag. Uh, but anyways, he wrote a letter. Thanks so much for subscribing, Fluffy. Hope you enjoy all this trash gold. Everything, including the box and bag, are from a trash can far, far away. Keep and use this crap. <laughs> or flip either way. Thanks again. Love, the bearded diver. All right. Let's see what he sent. Right away, I'm seeing one of the games that I saw in that video that I watched. It is complete. It, it is minty. I don't have the system for it, but one day I might. Uh, for the PlayStation 3, it is a game called Sports Champions. And to find games like this out in the dumpsters boggles my mind, but it happens all the time. Just ask the OGP. Uh, and also, I don't know, is this worth any money? I, this might be worth money. I'm not sure. Um... No manual, but a lot of the Xbox 360 games don't come with manuals. But this one is NCAA Football 12. Is that one worth anything? I know some of them are. How's the disc loop? Uh, pretty scratched up. But uh, that's alright, because uh, my buddy Leo, the video game guy, has a resurfacer. So that will take care of that, no problem. What else do we have in here? Oh, okay, I got this game already, so I'll definitely, uh, maybe I'll flip it or, you know, give it away in a prize or something like that. Uh, but it has a copy of Soul Calibur 2. I actually found a copy in the dumpster as well, a couple years ago. It's uh, right up here somewhere. Uh, where is that bad boy? Here it is. <laughs> There's my copy that I found from a dumpster. Clean. Clean copy. Don't understand why GameStop throw those games out, but they do. And uh, let's see how the disc is on this one. Not bad. Not bad. It's got some smudges that can be cleaned up. But uh, it is definitely playable. So, if anybody's interested in this game, let me know. Otherwise, I'll probably, uh, I'll probably most likely put it up on eBay. Don't hate me. These here are worth money if they work. Here's a power brick for a... Uh, Xbox 360. So these used to sell for like 22 bucks. These sell on eBay all day. Not sure if this works or not, but we will find out eventually. And this right here is the reason why the box weighed so much. He found a Xbox 360 in the trash. Does it work? I don't know. I haven't tested it yet. So, wow. That'd be pretty freaking sweet if it does work. We should plug it in and see if there's a game in here. That's what we should do. Yeah. Hold up a second. Plug it in. Plug it in. Alright. Power's up. Eject. All right, so this bad boy does fire up. Um, no ring of death, it's green. And uh, the problem with this bad boy is the disc tray won't pop out. Something is keeping it from opening up. Um, so I'll definitely take this apart, see if I could fix that. At least see if there's a game inside here. I wouldn't doubt it if there is. Is that all that's in the box? That looks like it. 
All right, guys, well, that looks like that's going to do it for this week's Fluffy Gamer Show. I'm the boy. I am the Fluffy Gamer. And I got an Xbox 360, thanks to the Bearded Diver. Make sure you guys go check out his channel. Show him some love. Definitely check him out. Give him a sub. Enter a contest. And maybe you'll win some trash, too. But until next time, guys, bye-bye. It's all in me. Anything you want done, baby. Da -da 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 -da.